Next question is from Luke Colestios. What are some signs you're not drinking enough water? You're thirsty a lot. It's probably the biggest sign. <laughs> it's the biggest one. Yeah. Actually, isn't, isn't uh, technically the the if you are thirsty, it's already the it's sign. Too late. Do you yeah. right? It means you're already technically uh, dehydration. So, so here's the problem with that. Is that, is that true? It's yeah. Old adage, yeah. Well, you get okay. So here's the problem. There's people in the fitness and performance space that say. For example, they'll give this arbitrary number. It's not necessarily arbitrary, but they'll say, you need to drink a gallon of water a day. Then you get like the, the science people and they'll go, no, that's not true. You need much less water. And then the fitness people will say, well, if you're thirsty, it means you're already dehydrated. And the other people will say, no, you're not dehydrated. Okay. There's optimal water intake for maximum performance. And then there's just the amount of water you need to be okay. And if you have that much, you're not going to get negative detrimental health effects. Optimal is typically more than the than the minimum required for for no negative effects. So I think we should talk about optimum and not necessarily because if you just drink when you're thirsty and you pay attention, you're not going to necessarily have these negative health effects uh, from not having enough water. Or maybe you do, you're just not uh, recognizing them. Yeah. Or maybe it's like over a long period of time, right? But if you want optimal performance, a little bit more water makes a big difference. You'll well, feel it in your workouts. You'll see it in your skin. You'll sleep better. Like there's a lot of things that you notice. Well, there there's, there are different things, and one of the one I remember I heard I heard Justin talking about this one time, and uh, I had never thought about it for like low energy. Uh, sometimes yeah. people come in and they train and they haven't really had much water at all for the day, and they're they just they're just low mm -hmm. energy. And making sure that they, you know, chug a glass or two of water pre before their workout could make a difference on their energy levels. I noticed a difference when I started to make a conscious effort in that. I also noticed something that, and I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna totally destroy this. Like, and, and maybe you guys can help me put to words exactly what was going on. But I went through this phase where I wasn't drinking very much water at all, and I kept, um, I kept hearing this whenever I'd squat heavy. Um, I'd get, like I remember this, you telling me this. Yeah. I get like this pop in my quad mm -hmm. and, it, and it would hurt. It would like, it would drop me to the ground. Like after I would freak out, it would feel initially like I tore something or something happened. And then it would feel, it would feel really bad for at least a couple of days. And then it seemed to get better and I'd be okay. So I know I didn't tear anything. It wasn't anything major like that, but it happened to me enough times that I could start, I started to connect the dots like, oh wow. Every time I don't make a conscious effort, to drink at least a quarter of a gallon of water in my, in my day before I got to these leg routines, this would happen to me. Hmm. And so long as I always stayed really hydrated, it would never happen, no matter how heavy I went, no matter any other combination of things. And I couldn't quite figure out what Weird. it was. All I knew was it was connected something to me being hydrated yeah. that was causing something. And I don't know if like things weren't lubricated very well right. and so they got hung up and then they would it, that that popping feeling would happen well I yeah i can't really you know add to that but in terms of like joint pain i definitely have seen a, yeah. a massive difference in terms of being hydrated not being dehydrated and having that nagging achy chronic kind of uh uh you know arthritis kind of feel uh, when i'm when i'm not drinking enough water that and my clients as well i've seen it with them and and once they're focused on that too it's it's definitely helped to alleviate a lot of that. yeah for me it's um the color of my urine will tell me a lot right so unless i've had b vitamins which b vitamins always turn your urine super but it's a different kind of yellow it's like like it looks like it's glowing but if my if if my pee is like a light yellow, then I know I'm getting enough water. If it starts to get really dark, usually means I'm not drinking enough. And here's one. What about blue? Not blue. Blues <laughs> pretty go to the hospital, I, I think, guess. or red, right? Yeah. Or you're um, awesome. Yeah. Or but so one thing to keep in mind though is if you're somebody that works out often and you don't eat a lot of processed food, and let's say you suffer from like eye twitches or muscle cramps or heart mm -hmm. palpitations, which a lot of times people will say, oh, that's related to not being hydrated. So you just drink more water and it doesn't go away. This is something I figured out for myself. It wasn't that I needed more water. It was that I also needed more sodium. So mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. sodium helps, it's, it's a, an electrolyte, right? It's part of how muscles contract and the body works. I would just drink a lot more water and sometimes some of these things wouldn't go away and my, my urine was super clear and I'd still get certain issues. And then I realized uh, I need more sodium because I, I don't need processed. Even though I salt my food, it's not a lot of sodium. So I, when, I started, when we started working with LMNT, that made a huge difference. And I put that in my water and then boom, had none of those Yeah, it's issues. interesting you bring that up because that's something I found out even in athletics. So I had never played in 
uh, humidity before. And this was a massive mm. uh, adaptation I had to figure out because uh, I would be so fatigued and I would, I would be gassed by like halftime and I couldn't figure out like, and I would hydrate, you know, days prior to that, making sure. And this is all that they would tell me is like, and they'd weigh you in and everything to make sure that you're replacing, you know, your, replacing water. your water. But I just never seemed to be able to get, you know, energized, like consistently to, to be able to play in that environment other than probably to play it more often and adapt, you know, naturally. But, you know, the electrolytes I started introducing more uh, and adding like pinches of salt into my water. And I, I yeah. was able to sustain my energy way longer. Yeah. My, when I would train endurance athletes, uh, that was a, that was a big one for me. It was like maybe 10 years into my career. And I started getting, I got one, you know, how it is you get one client and then they'll refer a few friends and they're all in the same shit. And so I had these clients that were triathletes, uh, and one, uh, guy was an, uh, competed in Ironman. So it's a big deal. And that's what I did with them. I'd have them put a pinch of sea salt in their water and it made a huge difference. And why? Because they sweat so much mm -hmm. and they don't eat a lot of processed food. And if you do the math and you look at their sodium versus how much they're excreting, even though they salt their food, it wasn't enough. And so I'd say, add some, and I remember the first guy I told that to, I said, try adding a little salt to your water. He's like, salt water? I'm, not, I'm like, well, not like the ocean, but add a pinch in your water each time and see if you notice a difference. And he came back. He's like, dude, it was, it was crazy. He's like, I, I was like, I felt like a completely different person. So something to, to keep in mind, because if you're like really fit and health minded, and you're drinking a lot of water, and then you have these signs of dehydration, and you can't figure out what the hell's going on, and you drink more water might make it worse. You may actually need uh, some electrolytes, or, or in particular, sodium. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.